Yo, what's good, tech fam? It's your boy, back with some spicy news about the Samsung Galaxy S26 and its Exynos 2600 chip. You know how Exynos chips have been catching shade for years because they overheat and chug battery like nobody's business? Well, hold up, because Samsung might have just cooked up something game-changing for the S26. I'm diving into a juicy leak from ZDNet Korea about this new chip. And trust me, you're going to want to stick around to hear how Samsung's trying to fix their Exynos woes. Let's break it down, keep it chill, and talk about why this could be a big deal. All right, so first things first, what's the deal with this Exynos 2600? This chip is Samsung's next big thing, and it's going to power some of the Galaxy S26 models dropping in early 2026. Now, if you've been following Samsung, you know their Exynos chips have been like the awkward cousin at the family reunion, kind of cool, but not quite keeping up with Qualcomm Snapdragon chips. They get hot, they drain battery, and people just haven't been vibing with them. But Samsung's like, nah, we're not giving up. They're throwing some new tech into the Exynos 2600 to make it run cooler and smoother. And the star of the show? Something called Heat Pass Block, or HPB for short. Sounds fancy, right? Let's unpack it. So what's this HPB thing? Picture this, your phone's chip is like a tiny city with a CPU, GPU, RAM, and all these little components working hard, generating heat like a summer day in Texas. Normally, that heat can make your phone feel like a toaster, slow things down, or even kill your battery life. HPB is Samsung's new trick to keep things chill. It's basically a copper-based heatsink, a little cooling pad that sits on top of the chip and the DRAM. That's the memory part. This thing sucks up the heat from all those hardworking parts and helps spread it out so your phone doesn't turn into a hand warmer. I mean, come on, who doesn't want a phone that stays cool while you're gaming or filming 4K vids? Now, here's where it gets interesting. The Exynos 2600 isn't just relying on this HPB tech. It's also using something called fan-out wafer-level packaging, or foul -up. Don't let the name scare you, it's not as complicated as it sounds. Basically, instead of sticking the chip on a regular circuit board, Samsung's putting it on a silicon wafer. Why? Because it helps spread heat even better and makes the chip more efficient. They actually used this foul up tech in the Exynos 2400, which powered some Galaxy S24 models, and it was a step up. But now with the Exynos 2600, they're doubling down by adding HPB on top of it. It's like Samsung saying, we heard you loud and clear, and we're fixing this heat mess. Oh, and get this, this Exynos 2600 is a two nanometer chip. That means it's super tiny and efficient, which should help with performance and battery life. Smaller nanometers usually mean better power sipping and less heat. So combine that with HBP and FOLP, and Samsung's cooking up something that could finally go toe to toe with Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2, which is probably gonna power the Galaxy S26 Ultra. Yeah. Samsung's still hedging their bets by using Snapdragon in their top-tier model, but if this Exynos 2600 delivers, we might not see as big a gap between the two chips anymore. Wouldn't that be wild? So what's the timeline? According to the leak, Samsung's wrapping up testing for the Exynos 2600 by October 2025. If it passes with flying colors, they'll start mass-producing it so it's ready for the Galaxy S26 launch in early 2026. That's not too far off. And I'm honestly hyped to see if Samsung can pull this off. I mean, imagine a world where Exynos chips don't get a bad rap anymore. No more complaints about your phone overheating during a Call of Duty mogul session or lagging when you're editing reels. But let's be real for a sec. Samsung's got some trust to rebuild. Exynos chips have let us down before, and I'm curious if this HBP and FOLP combo is going to be enough to change the game. Like, will it finally match Snapdragon's efficiency? Will it keep your phone cool during those long Netflix binges or when you're scrolling X for hours? I'm rooting for Samsung, but I'm keeping my expectations in check until we see some real-world tests. So, what do you guys think? Are you excited about the Exynos 2600 and this new heat pass block tech? Or are you still Team Snapdragon all the way? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I want to hear what you're feeling. And if you're hyped for the Galaxy S26, smash that like button and hit subscribe so we can keep geeking out over tech together. Until next time, stay curious, stay cool, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!